All right, this is K Flow back again. Um, logged into the northern safe zone here. We're actually going to leave and probably hit up. Let's do a map check. You know what? We're gonna make our way over up north. Probably go up north, and we're just gonna work our way all the way down to the southern part of the map. That's what we're gonna do. Now, um, when I leave safe zones, I always leave with no gear because you get guys who like to safe zone camp and what they do is they wait for players to spawn and go into their global inventory, get their good items out and leave the safe zone. And as soon as they leave the safe zone, they'll snipe them or run up and kill them. So because players do that, I no longer leave the safe zone with anything. Um, actually, at one point, was leaving the safe zone with a fresh guy and another player spawned about 10 seconds after me and he typed, we both were just outside the safe zone area, and he typed to me, are you friendly? And as soon as I started to type back, and when you type in this game, you can't move or anything, as soon as I started to type back, he hit me three times in the head with a hammer and killed me. Um, so, I actually, no, I, I'm sorry, let me, let me change that. I actually did type, yes, I am friendly, and he still chose to hit me in the head with a hammer. So he got nothing from that, but, you know, that just gives you an idea what kind of players you're dealing with. So, um, pretty much what my strategy is when I solo it, is I try to acquire a medium or large backpack, and I leave the safe zone, and I scavenge until I fill it up, come back to the safe zone, deposit my goods, and then rinse and repeat. So, that's what we're going to do here. Alright, so we're going to head on out. Only thing I have on me is medium backpack nice boonie hat which is leather and a flashlight and a bag of chips so and a little bit of water so if I get killed with this stuff is not a big deal I have more of my global inventory and that stuff is easy to find you see my health is already I'm sorry my um I'm already slightly damaged and my food and drink are about halfway so we gotta get to a settlement and find some stuff. On my left, I have my son today watching the commentary. Omar, otherwise known as Omizzy, say what's up. What's up? All right. So um, he actually just played DayZ for the first time uh, yesterday, and he liked it. He liked it a lot better than um, I'm sorry. He actually played WarZ today for the first time, and he liked it a lot better than DayZ. Um. You're probably wondering why I'm running down the middle of the road here and not hiding in the woods. I tend to find that most people, their strategy to ambush guys is to wait for guys running down along the uh, wood line there or along the tree line, and then they kill them. And it's hard to see guys sometimes when the, it's nightfall like it is. What time is it? It's 11.40. So... I run down the middle of the road where I don't think people will be looking for me. And if someone does come and approach me, at least I can see them at a greater distance than if they were right up on me in the woods. So that's a little tip for you guys. Normally I don't do solo runs, but I um, actually have some guys that are going to meet up and play with later today. And... um so I'm just going to try to do a little bit of soloing for now. Okay, we're actually going to start off in Clearview. Clearview in Alpha was um, sometimes called Bean Town or Bean City. It's more of a town than a city. Um, we called it Lake City because it was a pretty sizable lake next to it. We also sometimes called it Spawn City because that's where you spawned at a lot. That city used to be a big PvP city because there was decent loot there. And if you add in a combination of players spawning there all the time, it made for a lot of encounters. So if you were into PvP or you just were into the excitement of player combat, that was a city to be. But now that beta has opened up, and it opened up another third of the map, um, 
the players are more scattered all across the map, so there's not as many players there. But I still go there to get loot because you can still find good loot there. Um, so don't be afraid to hit Clearview up um, relatively early. Also, Clearview is a good map, I mean, sorry, a good town to hit when you have no weapons because if you do Argo any zombies, the woods are relatively close, and if you have a full sprint, you can sprint into the woods, uh, lose line of sight, and drop down prone into an evergreen or uh, to high grass, and you'll lose whatever zombies that are chasing you. So, Clearview is a pretty good city to start at. Alright, I'm going to sprint a little bit just to try to make some headway here. Wow, this server has 37 players, including myself, so um, that's uh, a lot of players, so a good, good possibility that I could get some action relatively soon. Now, with this guy, don't bother me. I don't play as a bandit. I kind of just play as a guy that wants to mind his own business, get his own loot, and that's it. But if he feels a player is a threat, he will take out a survivor, uh, no questions asked. But I don't shoot on sight with this guy. Um, the only time I would shoot on sight if a player didn't see me is if he was like armed to the gills or something. But um, otherwise, if I can avoid contact, I don't bother them and hence don't bother me. Alright. Do a map check, okay. Alright, I'm going to sprint a little bit more. See, there's clear view in the distance there. I'm zoomed up. Once I hit this tree, I guess I'll eat a bag of chips and drink a little bit of water to go with it. Okay. Go to inventory. Bag of chips. Eat. Drink a little bit of water. A lot of people say this is easier than days because you don't have to worry about finding matches and a hunting knife and a hatchet to chop wood and go hunting and stuff. I mean, I kind of, do no, don't get me wrong, I actually like that aspect of days because it kind of made it seem like you were almost living your character. But I guess if you didn't want to be bothered with actually the whole hunting aspect but still want to deal with having to eat, then this system is a little better because even though you don't hunt in this, you still have to acquire food. Um, which is in the form of MREs, um, bags of chips, uh, cans of, cans of, uh, pasta, stuff like that. That sound always scares the crap out of me. Every time. Alright. We're coming up on Clearview. First thing we're going to do, we're going to hit this small house directly to the left of, um, this tree here. They usually, there's usually, um, food in there. And, um... So we'll hit that up first, and then we'll hit the police station, which is directly across from it. So um, those will be our first stops, barring that there's any players or zombies blocking the path. Even though I do have a flashlight, I really try not to use it as a weapon since its uh, glow definitely gives away your position. And there are some zombies there. We see zombies standing like that in the group far away from a city or something like that, or far away from a town, usually mean they just chased the player uh, to that location. Either A, they caught the player and killed it, the player logged off before they could catch them, or they, uh, they, the player broke line of sight. So that's a, a clear indication that somebody was here earlier. All right. I like to stay in third person just because I can kind of cut the corners. I can slice the pie much easier than I can if I'm in first person. Definitely, when you're going to go to combat, yeah. uh-oh, a zombie just hit me from nowhere. All right, so now I have to break line of sight. So I'm going to run into this house. Okay. I'm going to dip through here. I have full... Take this turn and head out that way, and I should break line of sight with this zombie and get away. I don't even know where the heck he came from. That's crazy. Alright, I wasn't ready for that. 
Oh, I just grabbed the granola bar through uh through the wall. That's a glitch. All right, we're gonna go back and kill this zombie because um I don't appreciate he hit me from the back. See, I don't like shining this light like that though. There he is. So we'll switch to first person. He's dead. Now turn immediately turn the flashlight back off. Empty my hands with the backspace. Go back to third person. All right. So now we'll go back in here. Now the oh, can of soup. Okay. Yeah, there's usually food in here. So if you're low on food, this should be one of the... That right there is a uh, zombie that uh, trying to, is trying to fake like it's dead. And if you go near it, you'll wake, you'll wake it up. Some water. All right. So, I mean, there's no need to kill him. I don't have to go by him, so I'll just go around him. I did, totally did not see that zombie that hit me. All right. All right, we're going to hit the RV real quick. Um... If there's stuff in the RV, usually it's going to be food, and sometimes you'll find ammo. All right, nothing in the RV, so someone probably just looted this within the last 15 minutes. Which means that the police station also probably is looted already. All right. There's items in cars, so you look in the car. If you go by the windows, an item will pop up. Sometimes there's stuff back here, like you see as a medical kit. I want to see if I can grab it through the fence. Medical kit full heals you fully, no matter how much damage you have done to you. All right. Oh, there's a zombie. He just spawned. He can't see me, though, so... No need to engage that zombie. We'll just jump into the police station and see what we can find. Oh, I argued it. Whatever. I right, so we'll kill him. Or we'll kill her. Alright, okay, there we go. Backspace, what do we have here? Leather boonie hats. I'll grab a leather boonie hat because my friend I play with, Mike, he loves those things, so I'll grab one for him. Painkillers. Go back to third person. Nothing in this cell. Sometimes, if you walk into a room and you don't see anything, if you're right in the doorway, walk a little bit deeper because sometimes the items won't appear until you're deeper into the room. So just don't look into a room and look right through the doorway and say, oh, there's nothing there and walk away because usually if you go a little bit closer there's something there all right this looks like a little boonie hat a green boonie hat i've never seen that so i'll grab it uh we'll go around over here what do we have another green boonie hat i don't need oh so see that just spawned down the ground painkillers all right okay next up we're going to hit the fire station which is directly across me where i'm looking and then we're going to hit the store. Oh. There's a zombie right there. Okay. Again, I like to slice the pie. If you look here, if you want to see what's around the corner, go to third person and slice the pie. And, and come over like that. And you can see around corners a lot easier than, third, than first person. You don't expose yourself as much. All right. Okay, so far so good I don't see anyone that zombie I can walk across like this and I won't I won't disturb the zombie he won't see me oh that zombie just spawned go to first person he's like yeah this zombie's pretty tall he's like a basketball player or something and we're on even ground wow this zombie is pretty tall alright kill him come on oh there's a player there's a player. Oh, he just argued that zombie. Okay, good. He just got that zombie very angry. Uh-oh, someone's shooting. Hope that's not for me. All right, we'll go to third person. There's definitely someone in this town. 